So it's time for a new gun making video and at first I did some more rounds of uh, reaming on the barrel right now with a completely different set of the reaming bit thanks to uh, my subscriber Chris he gave me the idea to change the wooden part by a brass and that works way better. I had the fear that the brass part uh, will wa uh, will wear out and it will give a lot of scratches due to the rotation of the bit and uh, it's grabbing the cutting chips and then cause some yeah uh, I, I would say scratches in the barrel but it's not like that and the adjustment is now way better so um, I have a rather reliable adjustment so I can show you here like you can see uh, that's the cutting bit and the chimps for the cutting bit are made from brass foil 0.08 millimeter thick the size is given yeah because that's the only size i have at the moment but i it works really fine and it's simply made from brass laminum foil that's normally for chimming machine beddings uh laminum foil is I can show you that's a thick brass plate for chimming machine beds and it's not massive brass it's possible here you can see to delaminate it's just for it's for adjusting machine beddings and this is the right thickness the single sheets are the right thickness for sheeting the cutting bit and uh, yeah in total i'm pretty happy with the setup because now i have a defined cutting depth and it cuts way better than before so uh, now i will check how deep I did the cut until now. I uh, pry out the cutter, then clean it, and then we will see how deep we cut until now. Last time we had a growth depth of about 0 0.2, 0 0.25 millimeter. I will have 0 0.3, and I think this was the last round. see a lot of chips
Now we have some grinding sponge, uh, fleece, polishing fleece, and then push it through the barrel.
now we can check how it looks. So the diameter on the growth showed me that we are right now on 13.3 millimeters at the beginning the uh, the diameter was um, 12.8 so we still need to go one round to cut and then it should be perfect so our next job is the machining of the octagon i did already two sides now we will do the third side but first i have to turn around the barrel 90 degrees and then we will find the next point for our measurement So now we have our first result, the first stage for the octagon is done on the milling machine, that's way faster than with a shitty angle grinder, and We have a pretty nice rifling. That's something about 0.3 millimeters deep. Should be good enough. So the next step is to think about do we make a full octagon barrel or do we make a octagon to round barrel. So for inletting because when I make octagon to round, I have to do it right now on the lathe to turn down uh, this side to the final measurement. Otherwise, I have to start this one and put it uh, in the milling machine and then do the next stage. Yeah. That's pretty tough. So, that's all for now. I go back to the drawing board thinking about what to do if it will be uh, octagon to round or octagon. 
I have a little bit tendency to octagon to round, but So that's the opposite side. Looking pretty good. So until next time.